So I figured I'd share a problem I just got, uh, I just fixed recently where I'm in Unreal Engine and I wanna be able to use my Wacom tablet, my Cintiq to <clears throat> draw landscapes. So using the landscape mode in UE and I wanna be able to easily change the brush size with my pen. So with the mouse, you can hit Control, Alt and drag to the right to change the brush size and drag up and down to do the hardness of the brush, okay? I wanna be able to do that with my pen, but what I was finding is that it was not allowing me to do that. I couldn't, no matter what I did with my pen, so now I'm using my pen, I could not make that work until I went and found out that what you need to do is turn off Windows Ink in the Wacom tablet properties. However, if you turn that off, as I dropped over to ZBrush, I lost my ability to draw with pressure sensitivity as well. So the summary of, of this video is, don't just change that Windows ink setting in your Wacom tablets properties without understanding what each of your pressure sensitivity apps are gonna do. For me, my main apps are ZBrush, Photoshop, and now Unreal Engine, and they all have their own intricacies you have to be aware of, okay? Let me show you how to have your cake and eat it too. In ZBrush, you turn off Use Windows Ink. You've got to make sure you go into Preferences, uh, Tablet, Tablet Driver API, and select WM Event if you're using recent um, recent ZBrush builds or Stylus. By default, it's on WinTab. Turn it on here, and you've got pressure sensitivity. Works like a champ. Okay. In Photoshop, go over to settings area. So this for me, let me just show you how to get there. You do percent app data percent, go to Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, whatever your version is, Adobe Photoshop settings, and you create a file if it's not already there called psuserconfig.txt. And you fill that file with use system stylus space zero. Restart a Photoshop. And now even with use Windows Ink off, I have pressure sensitivity in Photoshop, okay? So those are my three, so ZBrush, Photoshop, and now Unreal. I now have complete control over my pen settings while I use the Wacom tablet. Hope that helps.